Okay, so this is my setup for my um, <laughs> DIY tab welder. This is the first trial of this. Um, so I've got this block of wood here with the electrodes either side. I think the gauge of that of those electrodes are too small. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, Bodgerly connected up uh, to a 12 volt solenoid switch and this is the switch which at the moment if I press it it won't do anything it doesn't arc or anything like that um, it just does the switch okay so that's turning the solenoid on which is um, chucking the voltage and amps through there from the plus through there all the way to here and hopefully it's going to arc and this is the setup so the switch comes from the plus and the minus goes into here and sends it into the solenoid solenoid then bridges the gaps oh, the gap here uh, mechanically and sends the current through so hopefully there shouldn't be a spark I'll hold it onto the onto the nickel and we'll see what happens this is the first ever test so hopefully we'll get a good weld I'll hold this onto here quite quite hard and staying clear okay so that was just a short burst and we've got a bit of burning we've got some burning wood actually so I'll just Get it off of there. See if it's hot. Mm, not hot, which is good. And we've got a weld. And that is just with a 200 amp battery. Uh, ATV or motorbike battery. And that is bloody welded on there. Good. Right, well I just pulled that uh, quite hard um, and it came apart in the end but um, all in all it's a pretty good weld I'm gonna try it on one of my crappy batteries in a second and um, see how that goes I've got some cheap 18650s uh, which I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on see how that goes Okay, well, I'm just going to try and do um, <clears throat> another weld on these um, nickel strips and what I'm going to do is just do like a double uh, double weld see if I can do that see how that goes so that's on there pretty good okay and then right bit of smoke Oh, it's a bit of bit of heat this time. Oh, that's hot. A little bit of burning of the wood back there. That's not too bad. I'll just got my pliers. And we'll see how easy that comes apart. Or well, easy or hard. Okay, so just pull that. Uh. Oh, well, I'd say that's that's a pretty good weld, to be honest. Um, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm just going to flatten out one of these strips, and uh, or actually both of these strips, and I'll use it to um, to weld two of these 18650s together. See how that goes. Okay, I've just cut... Um, <clears throat> what I would consider to be a far too small piece of nickel for for this weld but I'm just you know this is literally just testing on these crappy batteries um, I mean there's nothing wrong with them they're just they're just fake uh, especially 3000 milliamp but they're not so just clear clear away a little bit just make sure that the tabs are lined up Okay, so 
I'm just going to give it a go now. I'm going to press down here. And hopefully it'll stay still. It's one. Two. And then we'll do to the tab, this one. I can only do one on that one. But I'm um, <clears throat> pretty sure it's going to be all right. Can't get over that. But now that is on there. Pretty good. That's holding quite well. Obviously, I need to tape or stick these together. Um, that's good. Let's test the voltage. Make sure they're properly connected. Okay. I'll just get this out of the way so we can see the voltmeter. And so we have zero on there right now. And we have 7.64. So each one is. Let's do it the other way around. This one is. 3.89. This one is. Oops. 3.75. So, that seems right. So if I have a hot glue or, or tape these two together, then there's my 8 volt, uh, 8.2 volt battery. Uh, sorry, 8.4 volt battery. Uh, but actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just probably do this one as a 3S to just give me a 12 volt battery for projects and, and things that I need. Um, but yeah. I'm pretty stoked with my DIY battery tab welder. I mean, they're not bad. Not bad at all. Probably could have done with a um, protector under there just to stop that from melting the uh, covering, the shrink wrap. Melted it a little bit there. Can you see there? Yeah. Not much. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is for when I make up, I've got some um, LG HD2s that I'm going to make up an um, AS4P battery for my longboard with, and this tab welder is going to help me do it. And it literally is, I'll show you the components again. This is a block of wood with, focus, with some one and a half mil uh, copper core wire either side strapped to it with a couple of cable ties and some some glue and some tape this then runs up to the negative of the battery which is here okay it's only a 200 amp battery as well yeah you can't see it very well there but that actually says 200 amps and right so then the other side goes to the um, basically to the positive to a solenoid switch 12 volt solenoid okay uh, when this connects uh, it puts 12 volts to it from these two wires via this switch this momentary switch uh, when it does that then the solenoid obviously puts these two connectors together and you can do, draw a lot more amps through that and then that basically goes through the um, positive back up to the positive of the battery. And that is literally it. That's all you do. I could probably do with a higher amp solenoid because this is actually only, uh, I, I just stole this from my old scooter that I've got in the garage. It's actually only 150 amps, even though that's been going to put out 200 amps. So this, this eventually is probably going to die, so I probably need to replace that. But ultimately, um, <laughs> There's not much I need to do before using it to to make up my battery pack. There you have it.